the dynamic end area display, we can see the cut and fill areas there and also get some of the values. You can click on the elements and get the civil properties, which will give you like the areas, the volumes. Um, you can always, also of course, the linear length as well. And we have the end area volumes report. And then what I'm going to be focusing the most on probably is the quantities by main boundary report. Um, so that's going to be really your best way to get the, the best information out of your model. And then I'm also going to talk a little bit of background about uh, terrains and meshes in general. So that's going to be feature definition properties, which the main thing we're going to get out of the feature definition for quantities is going to be our volume option. So how we're going to assign that volume option is going to directly impact how our earthwork quantities are calculated. And then also look at how we can create closed meshes. So normally your meshes are going to be created from your corridor feature. So that's going to you know, come from a template, either a linear template or a corridor template that you push through. But we can also create just manual method of meshes that we can create from terrain to terrain or element mesh element to mesh element. Or you can even do it to a plane or a depth. So starting with analyze volume. Um, so let's 